so I'm going to ask you a question that has nothing to do with Loki first, just to get it out of the way, because I'm a huge fan of Wedding Crashers. And I heard that there's a script for the sequel that maybe you guys have read. So I'm curious, what did you think of reading the script? Yeah, there is a script and David Dopkin, has, who directed, of course, the first one has been working on it and uh, we've been talking about it and uh, it's been nice talking to Vince. Um, and it's one of those movies that, you know, really, you know, seem to connect with people. So if, if we can come up with a, um, you know, something we think could be great, then, uh, then I'm sure we'll do it. There's a lot of rumors you guys might be filming it this year. Do you think it's actually going to happen? I, I Someone said August, and I don't see that happening. Um, but um, I think it's, you know, before anything, it was sort of, you know, making sure that everybody felt we had um, a great story. I have a question from someone named Michael Waldron. Maybe you've heard of him? Yes. Um, and he asks... In Armageddon, why couldn't your character get his helmet secured in time to survive the crash of the independence? The film's already perfect second half would have benefited from Oscar's wry sense of wonder. Is there any talk of a special edition to correct this? Yes. Um, well, I, it would have been nice for Oscar um, to uh, to have, you know, made it a little bit further. At that point in my career, I was, uh, you know, I seldom made it to the third act, you know, Anaconda, I didn't even make it to the middle of the second, you know, Armageddon, um, you know, the second act there. So that went on for a while till I, till they, um, or until I was able to uh, see the end credits. Thank you for indulging that. I, uh, I'm sure Michael will appreciate it. <laughs> um, so I listen. I think your work in Loki is fantastic. Uh, what did you? What surprised you about actually making the series and working with Marvel that perhaps you weren't expecting? I think that you know early on, sort of the level of kind of secrecy um, that was um, you know not wanting people to see sort of even, you know, the wardrobe and the look. Uh, I really came to sort of appreciate when I kind of, you know, Marvel's fan base is so passionate that uh, they really, you know, put in a big effort to kind of surprise people and uh, to kind of save it for when it's, um, you know, when it airs. So uh, I thought that was kind of interesting and cool because I hadn't been a part of something where, you know, there was that degree of, um, you know, attention uh, put on to, you know, really trying to save it for when uh, audiences could see it. I think that fans are really going to respond to the stuff with you and Tom. Just the, the long dialogue scenes are so well done. Um, did you have a good enough time making this that if they call you and say, we want to do a second season, you'd be like, yeah, sign me up. I'm ready. Yeah. Well, it, you were talking about those long scenes and they felt long. Sometimes when we were doing, we were, you know, worked on those for days and you wonder, oh, will people have the patience? Will this be compelling? You know, seeing two people just sort of, you know, sit across from one another. But um, it seems like they turned out well. And uh, I, I had a great time working on it. You know, it's one of those things that um, I think it's sort of like you said about, um, crashers, it's, you know, have to come up with a good story. I already got to stop there. And I'm just going to say, seriously, you did great work on this series and fans are going to love it. Thank you.